So, what's your name? Peter McGilchrist. And where did you move from? Uh, Coolblup to Hamilton Hill. Coolblup to Hamilton Hill. Not many kilometres. Was it, um, have you done a lot of moves before this one? Uh, I think this is our fifth move in seven years in WA. Really? Seven years, five moves. So that's mm. like almost one every two years, yeah? yeah? What, what's been and the occasion for the ones before? Um, oh, all different things. Bigger houses, smaller houses. Um, all rentals or did, were all they... All rentals. All rentals, yeah. And then we finally bought one. <laughs> and this is your purchased one? Yeah. Wow. Did you get a good price on it? <laughs> it's Com okay. Compared to the market? <laughs> that, yeah. What is this You're area? You're going to get a good price. Yeah, that's true. What is this area around like? Is, is it around the 500,000? Yeah, like, well, we got it. We're just under 500, but wow, all of those would be well, well over. Really? Because this is a smaller block. Is um, what's this? Uh, Four two, ten. Four hundred and ten square meters. That's not bad. Yeah. For this area, it's really good. Yeah, close to the water. See, ocean glimpses. I can literally see the ocean <laughs> over that fence line a bit. <laughs> Ocean glimpses, man. Ocean Bit of an ocean guy yourself? You yeah. get on the water much? Love the beach. Yeah? So needed to get closer than Cool Bluff. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a fair call. Yeah. And so when moving into this house, um, you've obviously used a lot of cardboard before. Yeah. And your experience with cardboard's been a good one, or...? No. No. It's um, <laughs> crap. <laughs> move, moving with cardboard is terrible. So yeah. we always... Yeah, this time we always had cardboard boxes from friends and stuff, and... This time, because they're always free, then they put up with it. But this time, yeah. we didn't have any laying around and couldn't find any, um, and so looked online for for cardboard boxes. But thankfully, when, found the koala box. Yeah, like when you were looking online, did it did it was it easy to find when you were looking for it, or was it a bit of a drama or the koala box? Yeah, I uh, found it through Gumtree. Okay, so keep it high on the Gumtree list. Okay, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. And so, um, when yeah, you. And, Sorry, you go. Well, cardboard boxes are like three bucks or three dollars fifty. Wow! And you have to pick them up and then deliver them back again, and then they give oh, you a really? dollar back. So you would actually buy it for three bucks, and then they would give it back to you, and you'd get a dollar refund. I think so. And you would like still that. have to go do it yourself. Yeah, though. you have to go pick them up, take them back. They're all flat, so you have to take the bottoms and then put shit in them, and then take the top. <laughs> taping, no yeah. taping. It's with enough the koala stress box. to just move into the place, and yeah, that's right. So actually, having these these plastic boxes, it, did it like did it cut your time in half? Like, what was the best parts of them? I don't know. It just cut the stress of moving down. The whole stress <laughs> level. There's nothing worse than finishing packing a box and having to find the masking tape, mm. and then find the pen to write on the box. With these guys, you just close the lids, stack them on top of each other, and wheel them out to the truck. <laughs> so, it's so much easier. Very easy. Oh, that's so fantastic, Peter. No, that's good. Do you think um, you think it's worthwhile letting other people know about it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? You, they get delivered, they get picked up, and they're easy and convenient, and and as cheap as bloody cardboard boxes. So. <laughs> Buzz! You can't Get really lose that. No. no, that's absolutely great. No, thank you so much, Peter, for that. I really appreciate it. No worries.